shall continually be in my mouth. God bless you. Thank you for being with me. Real Talk with Gail Johnson. And I want to keep it real. Glory to God. And I hope and pray, glory to God, that, that the uh, broadcast will be a blessing to you. I am not just doing something. I'm praying that God, hallelujah, will put uh, will put this program out to somebody, glory to God, that will hear this and be blessed. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. Well, let's pray. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, I just thank you, God, that you're Alpha. God, you are God and beside you, you're that beside you there's no other god father god thank you that you are mighty god you're almighty god hallelujah and god we thank you lord god we thank you for your darling son he's alpha and omega the beginning and the end god we thank you so much father god for the holy ghost we thank you lord god uh for your power and your anointing father we ask you to forgive us if we said anything that wasn't like you lord god in jesus mighty name we pray and god give us clarity and direction today concerning your word not only do we just want to uh minister the word of god but we want you amen to be able to connect with the word of god amen i mean really truly i mean just really know god can take his word and change your life amen so uh today glory to god we're gonna come amen out of the word of god and give you what God has given us to give you. And we're going to talk about the love of God. Glory to God. For God so loved the world that he gave. You know what I'm saying? The love of God is beyond anything we can comprehend. You know, it's like, how can God love me? Because some people are so hideous. Glory to God. Uh, you know, we are just so ungodly, so unholy, and then yet, but God can reach down and love us and save us and, 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 and begin to give us things that we thought we'd never have. You know what I'm saying? God can change your midnight into today. So it's no God like him. Amen. Okay, now listen, we're coming from Matthew's the 5th chapter and the 38th verse. Matthew's the 5th chapter and the 38th verse. And what we're going to talk about is the love of God. Now, let me tell you this. Um, God wants us to understand when he tells us to be perfect. God is the perfect God that's using imperfect people. Amen. He's perfect. Amen. We are not, we're still in this flesh. That's why Paul say I die daily. We're still in the flesh. And glory, sometimes the devil can come in ways that we're not even expecting it, but he comes. Amen. So what I want you to know, but God said we can be perfect in his love. We can love the unlovable, reach the unreachable, and touch the untouchable. Oh, Lord Jesus, that's a lot of word to say. Because sometimes I know some people, I know that they're unlovable, unreachable, and untouchable. They have did some things that I couldn't even dream about, let alone talk about doing. But yet God love, hallelujah, have caused people to go to people in prison, people uh, glory to God that they took their mama. I, I I even saw something on TV. A guy had killed this boy mama and daddy. And he wound up ministering to this man and wind up helping this man. Oh, it was, I mean, you can't make up stuff like that. It takes somebody that really know God to do something like that. So let's talk about God love. You know, we got a thing where we feel like we got love. You know, we say, baby, you know I love you. You know I love you, mama. And all that, you know, your boy, you know I love you. 
you. I ain't talking about that old gushy gushy. Not after five, you can't find each other stuff because everybody doing their own thing. I'm talking about the love of God that passes all understanding. Oh God, made God have made me love people that if you told me I could love certain people, I would have said no. But God can make you love people that you thought you never could love. They got some people that was prejudiced. Oh, God. I mean, racist to the bone. I'm not, when I say racist, racist is not talking about the Ku Klux Klan against the black people. Racist is anybody that have a problem with people's skin, color. I mean, if you're white, if you're black, if you're Chinese, whatever. You could be racist any color. If somebody just have a hate for a person, color of their skin. Amen? So, I'm saying God can cause people that's racist, that's horribly uh, 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 racist, in prison. And I saw them coming in the in the meeting when I was when I was preaching. I mean, as I be preaching in prison, and they tell me I used to hate black people, or they'll tell me I didn't like white white people, and they'll say now that Jesus is in my life, you know, that's my brother. You know, I t- that is nobody but God. That's, that's God's perfect love. Well, let's go to the word of God and see what the Lord is saying. In Matthew 5 and 38, it say, Ye have heard that ye have heard that it has been said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. And that's like, you do me, I'm going to do you. And that's where the world is. Come on, I'm going to talk about God love. When I was in the world, you going to do me? <laughs> baby and you go get done yeah because that's how you are in the world you ain't gonna love on nobody that's doing you and you in the world you got to have god love for folks to dog you and you still find a way in the holy ghost i say in the holy ghost don't try don't try to do that Mm-mm. baby please you cannot love people in your flesh that done, done you wrong you get a woman that took your husband and then you know you and her in the same class at, at y'all could be at a a, a school, you know, taking up something and you find out that she in your class, oh baby, it's on now. Oh, no, 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 no. But we talking about eye for eye, two for two. What you do for me, I mean do to me, I'ma do to you. But let's go to God like love. Amen. It's say like, uh it's say like number thirty nine. It's say like, But I say unto you that ye resist not evil. But, but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him thy other also. Now, wait a minute now. Um, <laughs> you talking about slapping me? Well, they slapped Jesus. See, we, uh, you know, Jesus did it. But what you doing? You know, Jesus gone, y'all. He is gone and he's on the right hand of the Father. And please, people, stop preaching Jesus to me. And you talk about when Jesus and Jesus died and Jesus raised the dead and Jesus healed the sick and Jesus. What what you doing? Okay, he gone. He told his apostles, y'all go out in all the world and do what I did. Please stop preaching about what Jesus did. I mean, what what's wrong with us? We can't do. Yes, we can. And if he's saying, if somebody slapped me, I got a roommate and a girl slapped her on the bus because she talking about the Lord on the telephone. And she told her to get off the telephone with that. Ain't nobody want to hear that. And she threw a drink on my roommate in her face. And then she slapped her. And my roommate, they wanted to call the police. My roommate said, no, God will take care of it. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I just told that girl, I said, girl, thank God for Jesus, you know, that, that you had that in your spirit that you could do that. That that just blessed my heart, you know. And, you know, I ain't going to never sit and say what I won't do. You know what I asked God? I said, God, you won't put no more than I, than I can bear. Okay, so let me tell you what happened to me. I was talking to this guy about the Lord in third ward, and I was telling him, that rascal hit me in my stomach so hard, I spit blood out of my mouth. He was upset. Told me, don't be talking about no Jesus to him. And da 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 of this and da 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 And I'm throwing up blood in the toilet. You know, I'm talking about what's the world. But you know what? I kept on going. He thought in his heart, you know. And I'm going to tell you something. The boy wound up getting saved. The boy wound up getting churches. <coughs> and start walking with the Lord. Excuse me. And uh, he started walking with God, you know, got a ministry now. <clears throat> so I'm going to tell you something. And you have to have the Holy Ghost, though. You can't do this stuff, uh, just do this stuff. Excuse me. 
You have to do it by God's spirit. I mean, <coughs> thank you, Jesus. Okay. Uh, number, uh, number 40, it say, and if any man will sue thee at the law and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. You know, what God is doing here, he's saying, what I'm doing, I'm taking you as saints of God and I'm causing you, hear me now, to act like me. Because anybody can say, I, I'm like God, until you cross that line. It's a line you better not cross in my life. You know, it's a line there that you better not cross. Okay, no, 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 no. God's saying, I want you to be like my son. You know what I'm saying? I want you to be just like my son. Glory to God. And that's what he wants us to do. Be like him. He don't want us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He don't want us talking about we got God and when somebody come across us or somebody do something to us. It's a young man today inboxed me and says, uh, I think it was 20 missionaries supposed to die today, uh, 20 or 10, whatever. And he was asking me to ask people on, on Facebook to pray. And we praying, you know, and the Lord say, absent from the body is present with God. You know, is some of us going to die for the namesake of Christ. See, we in America, we don't know about that. We talk all this, I'm going to stand for Jesus, no matter what. Yeah, it's easy to it's easy to talk about how well you fight when ain't nobody to fight. It's, it's so easy to talk about how good you swim when you ain't got no water. America people talk a good talk. But you know what? It's one thing to talk, and it's another thing to actually do. So Jesus is saying... Uh, in this passage right here, he's telling you, you need to, you need to walk that extra mile because why? Because I'm going to show you when I say be perfect in love, I'm going to show you what perfect in love is. It say this number 41 and whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go two miles, go twain. If, if somebody, if, if a soldier, they messing with you, they say, come on, you go, go a mile. And, and then they turn around and say, no, nah, I'm going to take you two miles. And you carrying stuff and you a slave. Uh, you going through a lot of heartache and, you know, just God give me strength to do what I have to do. It's a man that's he a martyr. And I forgot his name, Lord forgive me, because he's one. He's the one that started the book about martyr. And this man went through things, oh my God, unheard of. And God, I mean, they treated this man so bad. They did so many demonic things to this man. And this man finally, what he prayed for in his country, it finally broke. And he finally got out. He started a magazine and today. But it was hideous. They did this man some demonic stuff. But yet the man kept loving. The man kept praying. Because when God is in you for real, it's a love that he has given us that the world thank you crazy. People, even when they was dealing with me, by, I mean, talking to me about in third war, I couldn't tell those people I was the brave woman. I couldn't tell those people that I had it to get together and all that. I just did what God told me to do. I didn't have a time. I didn't know what I was doing. I just went, got the people, and I told them about Jesus, and I prayed for them, and I got them clothes, and I helped them get jobs, and now they back in society. Because love, huh, real love, the love of God that's real, it, 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 it makes things happen. See? You try to figure out stuff. When God just say go, and I, I if, if he really told you to go, he going to fix it. Amen. And uh, so then it goes on to say in 42, give to them that seek, uh, I'm sorry, give to him that ask thee and find him that would borrow of thee and turn not thy away. He's saying, give the people that ask you. You know, sometimes people ask you, <clears throat> you know, can they borrow money? And you say, I don't, I don't have none. They'll ask you, you know, can you, can I, you know, I need to, you to take me to the store. I need you to take me out of town. My mother's sick or something. You say, well, I can't go. I got something to do that day. You know, look, get the people. You know, I didn't have folks. Oh, God, I didn't gave cars away. Oh, God, have I gave cars away. I'm talking about nice cars. I ain't talking about no junk cars. I ain't talking about cars that this don't work, that don't work. No, I don't do that. No, ma'am. If I give you something, I'm going to give you the best. If I give you, I gave a lady a suit. It was a bad suit. But I knew every time I wore, wore that suit, it just didn't do nothing for me. It fit me. 
But on her, that suit was tough. And she put it on. I said, you can have it. She said, oh, no, no. I don't want your suit. I said, you didn't ask for the suit. I gave it to you. See, so God's love is beyond comprehension. Amen? And he's using us to show people. It says, 43, ye have heard that ye have heard that it has been said, thou shall love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. Lord, yes. It's some folks I just can't love. That's what people say. I mean, save, save, save. I don't care what nobody say. I just can't love her. She did this. I just have to pray and ask God to help me because I just, is you crazy? Have you lost your mind? We talking God Almighty, his words say, love your enemies. If you can't love your enemies, you better get on your face and ask God. And there's some people, Lord have mercy. I had to pray and ask God, take out of my heart anything that will make me, I can't be around them people. Now, God do say, sure, in the very presence of evil. It's some people that you, I ain't talking about just put yourself in harm's way. I'm not just saying that. You can let people just treat you any kind of way and you stay around. No, I ain't talking about that kind of stuff. I ain't talking about somebody being in your house, raping your daughter, jumping on your children, you know, beating you up. And you forgive them, but you get out of that stuff because God ain't in harm. You know what I'm saying? He wants you to love them, but get away from that. So I'm not saying to be, <laughs> be wise in all that you do. Amen. So I see some women that they take a lot of stuff and they say, I'm just believing God. No, sometimes you got to get out of there. Well, when you say, what are you talking about, um, Evangelist Gail? When Paul got ready to come down off that wall, they put him in a bucket and let him down because those people were trying to kill him. You got to be wise. You can't be a fool and foolish. You know, you let me say foolish. You can't be foolish. And let the devil stay in your house jumping on you and and raping your children all this old crazy stuff. Come on now. You got to come up out of there, man, sleeping with every woman. You got to get away from that madness because that man going to wind up giving you AIDS or something. Showing the very present of evil. You still can love people, but sometimes you got to get on out of there. Amen? So don't take this out of out of content. Of content. Okay. Uh, let's go on because I'm almost through here. It say, but I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you. Lord, you asking me to do a lot of stuff right here. And pray for them that despitefully use you and persecute you. The men that's supposed to die today. Do you know the missionaries over there? I forgot what part of, time, part of the world they in. But they finna die today for the namesake of Christ. I know we don't know nothing about that. We talk a good talk. But them people got to still love those people. They got to die. They not. They ain't sitting there saying we're going to hate them. We're going to ask them. They saying if we got to die today, we're going to have to die. God, help me to, to die unto you and not, you know, with, and God will give them strength. If, if, if he want to get, if he want to turn them loose and he want them today to, to, to not die, they ain't got to die because God is God. Come on, somebody. God do whatever he want to do. But the Holy Ghost wants you to know that you got to learn to love the lovable and touch the untouchable and reach the unreachable, all right? Because God is saying, he said, but I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. This is what he telling us because this is the love of God. Okay, let's go to 45. That ye may be, listen at this, that ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to shine on the evil. Let me tell you something. God could be a God that only if you serve him, he is going to bless you. Only if you serve him, he's going to let the sun, the rain, he's going to let you. Because he, he said, I don't care nothing about you. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to, when you go outside, I'm going to make the sun go down. When you want some rain, I'm going to let your garden and your house, everything be dry. No, God rain on the just as well as the unjust. God rain, God he allowed the evil to have sunshine. Listen, y'all. And God saying, well, y'all got to act like me. It's some folks. Come on, saints. Come on here. It's some people. Jesus, <laughs> girl, if it wasn't for the Lord on my side, 
I would just go there and bam, here it is. This is just what I want to say to you. I want to tell you this. this I want to tell you this, glory to God. I want to tell you this. Check this out. But no, I, I got saved now. Baby, I've been saved 40 years. And I'm telling you, it ain't how long you've been saved, but it's that you got saved. And I promise you, uh, people I done forgave, ooh, it hurt it, but I forgave them. And I mean, I forgave them where they had stayed in my house. I done forgave them where I had to feed them. I forgave them where I had to take them in my car, or take them to the hospital sometimes. It's different things. People, I had to give them money. Folks I know don't like me. Praise the Lord, Sister Gail. Oh, no, don't like me. But that's all right. Because of the love of God. This story is, this passage right here is talking about the love. I'm perfect. I, You know, I don't wear pants. I don't wear makeup. I don't be around. No, 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 no. He's talking about perfect in his love. In his love. Because we are not perfect in our flesh. We're perfect in the love of God, though. Somebody slap you and 